Okay, welcome back to my Let's Play of Castlevania on the NES. We're on stage uh, 15. And uh, things look a little bit different because I'm actually using a ROM hack now. Haha, -ha, I switched. I switched on you. Um... So, this is uh, Ultimate Castlevania, as it's called. Uh, it doesn't change a drastic amount. It's still Castlevania. But it updates the sprites and backgrounds and stuff like that, which is always nice. And... It alters a couple minor things with levels. Nothing really drastic at all but there are a little bit of differences more notably it changes uh the candles around so there's less candles and hearts are much more limited um so you you don't end up with like 40 50 hearts or something like that they're a little bit more sparse and because of that because your whip pickups are based on how many hearts you have um, they're not random. It's it's based on you have to have a certain number of hearts in possession. Um, you're less likely, or it takes longer to get the full whip after you die, which is a bummer. But, um, every enemy in the game does one less damage, which is pretty nice. Uh, it's definitely noticeable. Uh, so those sort of balance out things and give a little bit more gentle curve to the difficulty because you're not likely to die in the earlier stages. So you're not worried about hearts and losing your whip and stuff like that. Uh, but then later on, you are still less likely to die, but if you do die... Uh-oh. Uh, case in point, we are about to head up to the long corridor before the death boss... Uh, I had just died, so I have the basic leather whip. <sighs> I don't know how this is gonna go. Maybe they altered this stage, but I doubt it. They really do not alter much. So, yeah, this is gonna be... This is gonna be iffy. I mean, we can take more hits, but really it comes down to, like, maybe two more hits. Which is nice, but... We're gonna get our shit pushed in. <laughs> not, not much has changed because I picked up a ROM hack. Yeah. Oh, and they took out the pork chop in this section, apparently. So we don't even get that benefit. I was wrong. There is still the hidden pork chop. Okay, that helps us out a little bit. Um, I'd still prefer to have long whip, but uh, metal whip is better than leather whip. In most, in most cases in life. Unless you're getting hit with it. So, you know, with some, sometimes when I do these playthroughs of early games and I change things, I get something different, it uh, sort of disqualifies me from saying that I've beaten the game. Like Final Fantasy, you know, I can't say I've beaten Final Fantasy on the NES, NES, because I haven't. This, I'd probably still say I beat Castlevania on the NES. It, it's still pretty similar. Um... Okay, this is this is doable, right? Okay, he changed position. That's good. 
That's good. Um, these scythes still hurt. They hurt quite a bit. Oh, I got an extra life. Well, that's good. But he touched me. I don't think boomerangs are really the way to go there. Um, I think I just focus too much on trying to get those out. And they don't do enough damage. I should probably just focus on whipping. But this is this is doable. I'm feeling I'm feeling confident. Sit down. Don't even need the pork chop. That sucks. Hey, I'll take that pork chop now. Hey, I'll take that. Oh, okay. Now we're dead. Yep, this is a wash. Kill me, please. Ugh, God. That went downhill very quickly. Here you go, turbo whipping. That's cheating. I mean, we really don't have to kill these stone guys. Uh, I just have to push all the way back to the boss area. God, I have the fucking heads. Oh, oh, dodge one, get hit by the other because of it. That's how that works. I just can't even with these heads. The ROM hack does really jack shit about that. Okay, well, you get to see the whole stage now. It's really what I wanted to avoid. Not the most thrilling game to watch someone suck at. I would say that. the wall there so you can't glitch this guy out anymore I mean that's just a sensible change that's really how it should be and this guy doesn't glitch out as much then so it works Oh, 
Hold on, let me let me check everything here. You never know. Get that porch. Why do I always If we don't beat the game this video, probably do some editing. This game should not take like three hours to beat normally. I mean, I know there's a pork chop somewhere. They just fucked me. Okay, we are back. <laughs> well, that could have hand got handled better. Although, it was definitely not gonna have, even if I got the pork chop and didn't take any damage until the boss, it was not gonna happen. So our chances improve a little bit. Just, why does that thing suddenly appear from behind? Oh, gosh. No, I jumped into him. That's exactly what I didn't want to do. Oh, twice. Oh, he just sits on my face. I don't want some Grim Reaper sitting on my face. That sucked. Because I got there with quite a bit of health. The most health I think I've ever had. But then I got to learn the, how the boss worked. You have to be very careful with where you're standing, because he's bouncing. But then you got all the scythes swinging around. It's just atrocious. Not even the final boss. God, the hitbox. No. <laughs> How do you manage that? I don't even know. Oh, I would love a pork chop. <sighs> Fuck. 
survive. There's no way. There's no way. You know how lucky I'd have to be? I don't even know how to deal with the situation. That does not happen often in, like, a video game like this, where it's just, I, I don't even know what you would do in order to combat. I, I need to watch a video. I need to see someone perfectly do it. So I can learn. Kind of like Lobos Jr. when he does when he like learns a new boss fight in a Dark Souls game or a Soulsborne game, and he'll just like dodge the the boss for like an hour. You won't ever hit it. He'll just dodge so he can learn every attack perfectly. That's that's the sort of skills I need here. And I'm about to die, which means we get to do the whole stage again. Um, and yeah, so it's it's at that point that I say the game uh, is not really my cup of tea. I, I think I think that's clear. I'm not saying it's bad. I'm just saying I suck, and I don't really care to learn how to not suck. It's just one of those things where it's like there are better uses of my time. And I, I have an abundance of time. I have so much time. But there are still better uses of my time than trying to get good at Castlevania on the NES. I don't know, man. Not to insult it or to insult people that have... that have spent the time on this, because if you enjoy it, then that's not a bad use of your time. But to spend all this time doing something that I don't derive any purpose from. <laughs> Whether it be enjoyment or uh, pride or whatever. I'm not really one of those people that's like, oh, you haven't played blah 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 on the on the NES? What's wrong with you? You're not a gamer. Um, and so you haven't played the Goonies on NES? How can you call yourself a gamer? So this this game just as well could be could be any NES game. That's really difficult and annoying. It happens to be, you know, a classic and the start of a lengthy series of video games and other media, so that's why I'm playing it. But fuck me, man. Uh, we're getting pretty close to the, the save state <laughs> portion of this Let's Play, where I throw pride out the window in favor of sanity. Metroid was so much better. <laughs> you want a great classic NES game, play Metroid. Even The Legend of Zelda. I mean, if you use a walkthrough, I think that's a, a pretty decent NES game as well. You know, it happens, man. Not every game holds up. That's just the way it is.
Not every game is Final Fantasy VI. Well, if we don't take any damage, we'll be in good condition. I really wish you would stop coming in from behind. There's, there's no way. There's no way I'm avoiding all that shit. It's just not happening. Fucking Medusa heads. Dracula doesn't even need to make an appearance. Send in his army of flea men and Medusa heads. Well, once again, we're screwed. I have a lot of hearts. That's nice. Three shot. Oh. No. Oh. Oh. No. Oh no. That was so perfect. My god, I felt like a Super Saiyan! But I didn't have enough health going in, so it was pointless. <sighs> oh, come on. That's... Oh, god! What's the death suicide button? God... This is, this is the suicide button. Fuck you, man. Fuck you. Oh, God. <laughs> oh, my God. If we get a good run up top, I I'm making a safe state. I don't care what you say. I don't have any pride left. I lost all my pride freshman year of high school. It's gone. It's gone! I can use safe states with immunity. Yep, that was good. Mother. But this isn't a good run, so there's that. This is just a game for Mountain Dew fueled eight year olds back in 1986. My old man brain can't handle all this fuck. Great. Unless I go so Super Saiyan that God himself is impressed. This is never gonna happen. Oh, my fingers are getting so sweaty now. Why? Why? Great, another life. That's exactly what I want. Monster Hunter never pisses me off like this. Puddle pissed me off of this as much as this. That, 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 that I know. I put this on Puddle tier. 
What am I doing? I'm not even focusing. I think I want to die. <laughs> uh, eyes closed. Just kill me. And oh yeah, you better not take a drink, cause go fuck yourself. That's nice. Look at that, that was turbo button! That was turbo button faster than a human could ever push the button, and I still get hit. So I think you just have to dodge it, I guess. Or probably stand further away. But, with the short ass whip, how far are you really gonna stand away? No, don't go up there. Alright, come on now. Just focus. You don't want to die. Don't want to die. Whoa. Don't you- Oh, you motherfucking god! This fucking game, I swear to god, man. Oh, I swear to god. Kill me. Did the ROM hack really make things easier? I mean, I can take more hits, yes. But, unless I get good, it's irrelevant. It's absolutely irrelevant, because it does not make this guy easier. It does not! Alright, well, cue montage, beat the game, all that good stuff. Fuck this.
Fuck yes, I did it. I did it! <laughs> it's... <laughs> it's a pretty shallow victory, considering we're using a ROM hack that made it slightly easier. And, uh, I save-stated the shit out of it. The young hero finally defeated the horror of Count Dracula. He watches the castle crumble from afar, and then goes home. The evil chants have silenced, and Transylvania is safe again. At least for another century. The end. Oh, Christopher B. Um, so, yeah, it, um... I was tempted, uh, during that whole ordeal... I was like, I should just, you know, save state during the fight. You know, just like every few hits on Dracula, as long as I haven't gotten hit, just make a save state. And, you know, boom, you'll beat it, you know, eas pretty easily enough, uh, going step by step. But I was like, at that point, if I do that, I, I might as well just take someone's, someone else's video of them killing Dracula. Because it's like the same thing at that point. I'm not doing really anything. So, I decided, even though I am save-stating before the fight, and just reloading it each time, uh, I'm gonna do the fight in one go. I, I gotta be able to just beat him with my own skills. Um, cause really, just going back through the end section each time, it's really just a test of patience. That is not a test of your skill. Uh, whatsoever. That is just a willpower thing. Um, so I commend people that have done that. That, that's respectable, because, fuck, I, I would never, ever want to do that. Um, as for the ROM hack making it easier, not, I mean, I definitely won that fight because of the ROM hack. Um, because I, I can take, I don't know how the math works out, but I can probably take, like, an extra hit. Or so, maybe two? I don't know. I don't know. Uh, maybe just an extra hit. So, it's pretty close. Um, really what it means is, I think in the normal game, you have to do the first phase flawlessly. Whereas with this ROM hack, I could take one, maybe two hits if I did really well in the second phase. Um... The holy water was clutch in the second phase because he freezes. It freezes him in place. Um, and so you just sort of spam that and spam the whip in his face. And that usually takes care of his fire blast when he does them. Uh, so the first phase is definitely trickier. Since it's so lengthy. Uh, and you just have to have all these really well-timed jumps. Um... So yeah, that, that took a while. <laughs> that took a lot longer than I wanted it to. Um, so I, I, It's hard for me to really comment on it since I, I did alter things here. Save states and stuff like that. Um, I would say I'll probably never play it again. <laughs> I did see there's a ROM hack that's like Castlevania simplified or, or something like that. That makes the game easier. Like, every hit you take only does one damage. Uh, and it also, like, removes all the bottomless... Or most of the bottomless pits. And so I guess it, like, fills them in or something like that. So you, you're not dying from that. You're only taking one hit from each monster. That's probably just a more enjoyable experience. So I might replay it someday with that. Just, you know, because... Okay. That's fine. Um, and there's a, a ROM hack that improves the, like, jump controls a lot and makes it more like a proper platformer, like Mega Man or something. And people say that's a, a really nice one. Um, as it stands, you know, it's... It's sort of like if I played the first Final Fantasy on NES, I guess. It's probably like that. Where it's interesting as the foundation of a series... It's got this certain appeal to it, but it's not something I really want to play. It's not like, oh, you know, 
you know, and I think nostalgia, of course, drives a lot of this stuff where people say, oh, it's a classic, oh, you, I play it every year, and blah, blah, blah. It's like, yeah, you've probably been playing it since you were a kid, and you're just, you're used to it, you're a big fan of it, so on and so forth. Not everything holds up over the years. Um, I think, you know, there are aspects of this that are cool. You know, the theming is really cool. Um, there are some moments where you, it feels really good to take down bosses and stuff like that, and it feels clutch. Um, the music is good for the most part. So, I guess overall this went better than I thought it would. <laughs> I thought this would be a living nightmare, uh, since I wasn't overly relying on save states like I was the last time I played through this game, which I don't really remember now. I don't know how I did Dracula back then. Um, so there was a lot of complaining, but in the end, we did it, and uh, it's done now. So we move on to maybe greener pastures? I don't know. I don't know. Um, Castlevania 2 is, of course... I've never touched it, but... It started the uh, the angry video game nerd, so that's what I know about it. But I'm gonna be looking at the ROM hacks. I think even James Rolfe himself mentioned a ROM hack uh, in one video for Castlevania Two, and he suggested it. So you know it's gotta be it's gotta be used when he's when he mentions it. But all right, it's done. So my name is Mang. Game you just finished watching is Castlevania on the NES, and I'll see you fine folks in Castlevania 2.